Hello, welcome back to another episode of Loot Crate. Right, so I'm here with Mark today. Uh, hello. And that, he's the newest member of Squire Game. So, um, if you don't know what Loot Crate is, Loot Crate, something we get every month. Basically, they give you a random selection of geeky toys and apparel and things like that. Um, I actually got this shirt in the last one. Transform! Martin McBrime in a DeLorean. So, it's <laughs> always pretty good. Yep, Martin McBrime. Right, so yeah, um, as you can see, you get random little things. It's um, a great... I'm trying to think of the right word for it, really. Um, it's great fun. As you're it. They say that you've got to share and things like that. So we've got this, and um, I've decided, I think I've sort of found a way. It says that you're supposed to share and record it and all that sort of stuff and enjoy it. I'm going to share it with all of my friends. I've realised every single video that we do for Luke Ray, I'm going to grab someone else that I know to come and do a video. <laughs> so far, the first one, it was Mother Half Ruth. Next, we had Dave, and we also had Ruth in there. Today, we've got you, Mark. Yep. Peach, the Peachinator, if you've seen our Minecraft videos. AKA Gaming Peach. Yep, Gaming Peach, who's on YouTube, so look him up. I'll put a link in the video below, so have a look. Um, yeah, if you want to. If you know me, anyway, in person, um, or if you don't, but you live quite local, let me know, and maybe you can join us for um, a loot crate opening. Anyway, let's get on with this. Um, I've dun, dun, just dun, spoken dun, to my other hot off, because she is currently here, hidden in the background. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's like an African worker yeah. in a sweatshop. She's sitting on the floor at the moment. Yeah. But um, she has said that this one's loot crate. Is villains. Ooh, okay. That's different. That's cool. That's very cool. Right. I'm gonna have to check this. Can he do it without dropping stuff? There you go. I opened it up and that's what I saw. I was quite surprised. For the perfect crime. See? That's different. I quite like that. Is. That's quite cool. Yeah, I'll show you again at the end of the video, and then we get another good one. All right, what have we got in here? Let's grab this. Yep, July villains. What is it? Comic book? It's a little book. Yeah, basically, um, with these little books. Oh, it's got Deadpool on there, Darth Vader, some others, Loki. Yeah, basically, it's just a little thing just telling you some of the things that are in here. Um, I'm not going to go through it, because if we look through this, it's going to spoil everything that we actually have in the box. Right, so, first off the bat, top thing in here. It's a very small box, this one, actually. I'm going to quickly show you guys. Unlike the others, it's very thin. I think this might be their new way of doing it, because it's got just as much, unless they don't have other bits in there. But, we've got another T-shirt. And this one is. Yes, is it odd? Jokey. Jokey. <laughs> Loki. It is. It is Loki as the Joker. Or the Joker as Loki, I should say. <laughs> that is quite cool. I quite like that. What do you think? That is epic. Yeah, I'll pass that over. Right. If you want to choose the next thing. Ooh. Um, let's go. This thing. What you got there? I have. I don't know if it's a music CD. It looks like it could be. Let me go there. Experience the icons that forged fear. The Joker, Lex Luthor, Catwoman, Doomsday, Bane. Diabolical Delight. Looks like it could be. I don't know if it's a music CD or an actual this is a video of a game or something. Right. It's definitely a disc of some sort. I don't know what sort of disc. Hmm. That might be worth having a quick look at. Right. I'll add that in at the end. Right. <laughs> That's cool. I've got some Deadpool socks. How cool are they? <laughs> That's brilliant. Cool. Right. Next up, Mark. 
What do you want to choose? Why not? Apparently, it's a fridge magnet. Ah. Well, Bowser saying, I want you. <laughs> he so wants you to join his army. And it's the typical picture, isn't it? Or was it Uncle Sam, isn't it? It is. I want you. Right, we also have a Star Wars keychain. Darth Vader. I'll open it up so you can have a better look. Actually. It's already open. Come on, get out. There we go. Darth Vader. There you go. You will focus. Hey. Right, next up. I think I'm. That... No, that's yep, still more some more. I've got. I don't know what it is. Open it up. Let's have a look. Wait, I've just put oh, some. I've we've got... also got a badge. <laughs> it was tucked away inside. Which is another loot crate badge. Telling us that this month is July and it's villains. Right, so I think there's a few in here. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Right, first one. You got the Joker. Oh, that's pretty cool. As a poster, and then you've got Harley Quinn. Nice. That's a couple of posters. Very nice. And last, we have Rocket Raccoon. That's Guardians of the Galaxy. I think it is part of the Guardians of the Galaxy series, isn't it? And it's got Ultron in it. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's no, got Ultron. No, it's not Ultron. Ultron? No, no. It's, uh, what's its name? Mega. What's that guy's name? If you know, stick it in the comments. Because we can't remember. And this is issue number one. It's a Loot Crate exclusive. Ooh. That's quite cool. And to show you guys the inside of the box again. <laughs> show the inside. I, I think that's brilliant at the bottom, though. Right. You got that. How cool is that? I thoroughly enjoyed looking at that. Just sort of opened it up and saw that instead and just went, wow, that's great. <laughs> Best buds. That's cool. It does say, do you know what? After me saying that, I'm going to share it with all of my friends. On this, it does say, share with no one. <laughs> right. It's a shame. Right, so just to recap with everything that we've got, we've got the rather awesome box. Because that is probably one of the gifts, I'd certainly say. We have Rocket Raccoon. Issue one. What else have we got? We've got... Posters. One last time. Upside down. Next. The epic t shirt of Jokey. Jokey. Got the fridge magnet. I want you. It's Uncle Bowser. No longer Uncle Sam, it's Uncle Bowser. Uh, we got Deadpool socks. I don't know if they're long stocking socks or. I don't. Do you know what? I'm not entirely sure. So a quick look. Or just normal socks? I think they're just normal socks. Come through. That way. Ah. I pulled up the bit that it didn't want. Okay. Yep, normal socks. We say Marvel on them. I will get it in cam. They are quite cool. Also, an epic badge. Another loot crate badge. Yep, loot crate badges. Darth Vader keyring. And we don't know if it's a music CD or we don't know if it's pictures for a movie or something. But we will let you know after this. 
And as always, we have a little Loot Crate magazine, which just has a few, just telling you what, what there is, essentially. Yeah, just a couple of question and answer bits. Oh, top five video game villains. What we got in here? Right, Dr. Robotnik from Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, that's that's got to be a definite, I think. Um, we've got Albert Wesker from Resident Evil. Ganon, Legend of Zelda. Bowser from Super Mario Bros. Oh, and that's one I didn't expect. Kefka. From Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, well, I was going to say because he was in three and six, wasn't he? Yeah. Which is, he was also in um, what was it? Um, Dissidia. Yeah. Just a playable character. I was to say, top um, in the comments below, put your top five villains at uh, your video games. Yeah, who are your top five video game villains? It'd be interesting to know. Who's your favourite video game villain? Um, in all. Yeah, in all the games that you've played, who's your favourite villain? Uh, I'm trying to think. It would have to either be Bowser, because of Mar uh, Mario, because I've played that quite a bit, or, looking at the Final Fantasies, probably Sifa. Not Sifa, yeah, not Sifa, yeah. uh, not Sifa, what's Sephiroth? That's the one. Yeah, Sephiroth, yeah. Sephiroth is certainly one of the top ones up there. Um, by yourself? Well, definitely in the Final Fantasy, it would definitely have to be Sephiroth. He's top notch, the badass. Um, he's also pretty damn hard to beat in Kingdom Hearts as well. Because I could never beat him in Kingdom Hearts <laughs> 1. No matter how much I leveled my characters, I just could not defeat him. Has anyone beaten him? I certainly haven't. I kicked his ass in the second one. But the first half, just no. He was unbeatable. Um, but yeah, overall video game villain. Probably Dr. Robotnik, actually, because I played an awful lot of Sonic growing up and he always came back as something different. It was never the same boss, it was always just different. He was a different machine, or a different way of fighting him. He's probably my favourite, I think. I think he's probably it. Money Bags from Spyro. Money I like, Bags. I liked Money Bags. <laughs> money Bags from Spyro. He was the most useless villain. He really was. Cool. He was irritating. Though. He was quite irritating, wasn't he? Right, anyway, we shall get on to having a quick look at this CD, and we shall let you know what we think. Be right back. And through the magic of video editing, we're back. Right, we've just had a quick look at Necessary Evil. It is, in fact, a documentary on the supervillains of DC Comics. Um, it's an hour and 30 minutes, um, so we haven't actually watched it. We did. Good. We watched the whole hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> That would have been a Yeah, but that's it. Hour and thirty minutes. We've gone, bump, job like that. But yeah, it just basically goes through who the villains are, what makes a good villain, just sort of going through a couple of things on how the villains interact and things like that. Yeah, have a watch. That's what I can say. See if you can get hold of it. Or borrow it, if you need it. Right, anyway, that's us from Squire Gaming, and we shall see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.